Welcome to the ShareEd BC How-To video series. This video covers a general introduction to ShareEd BC. ShareEd BC is an online platform allowing BC and Yukon educators to find resources aligned with BC's curriculum, share your created resources, connect with educators in BC and Yukon, message with BC and Yukon educators, plus view ShareEd BC en français. ShareEd BC aims to grow and foster professional connections and advance the use of BC's curriculum to improve learner engagement and outcomes. ShareEd BC is by invitation only. Once your district or organization has completed the connection to ShareEd BC and provided us a list of users to invite, a personal email invitation will be sent to you. School district users will sign in using their existing district work account. There is another how-to video in the series that covers the process for activating your account. Let's take a look at ShareEd BC. The first task once you join ShareEd BC is to edit your profile. This screen will be in English the first time you join. I will cover switching the platform to French shortly. Providing more information here will help improve the search results when looking for resources or connections. It is important that you do not disclose any personal information in the description field of your profile or anywhere in ShareEd BC. It is also important that you read and agree to the terms and conditions. Click the checkbox to agree and then click the Save button. There are a few preferences that you can change in ShareEd BC. Click on the down arrow beside your name in the top right corner. Choose Preferences. You can change your messaging option. Email notifications. This area is for Shared BC notifications you will receive in your district email and the frequency in which you receive them. The language section allows you to choose English or French as your default language. Once you have made your selections, click Save. If you have changed your language to French, you can go back to your profile to see it in French now. Please note, that the Save button will remain in English until you click on it, and then it will change quickly and then refresh back to the home page, showing everything in French. In the same drop down menu where you changed preferences, you will notice there is Notifications, View Profile, Edit Profile, Help, and Log Out. Some of these options will be covered later in this session. After successful sign-in and completion of your profile, you are opened up to the full features available in ShareEd BC. The first screen you'll come to is the ShareEd BC homepage. Here you will be able to connect to all the functionality within the service. A recent release provides connection and resource recommendations on the homepage based on your profile. If your profile has no additional information, the recommendations provided will be based on the most current resources and users that have been added to ShareEd BC. The top navigation bar will take you to the main features of ShareEd BC. Let's start with resources. In the resources section, you will have the option to add a resource. As well, most users will have three folder options. My saved resources. These are resources that are saved when you hit the bookmark icon against an individual resource you want to use. My Shared Resources, which houses the resources that you have created. And Search Resources, this is the location for all published resources on the platform. As well, if you have been assigned the permission to be a publisher, then you will also see Review Resources. The Search Resources page displays by default. You can find resources by using the filtering options or typing in keywords that may be in the title, any shared BC field, including curriculum data, or is in the attachments within the resource. Icons on each resource allow you to like, comment, bookmark, share, and flag. Under my shared resources, you will also see icons that will allow you to edit and delete your own contributions. Adding a resource is covered in detail in two of our how-to videos. The connection feature allows users to connect with other users within ShareEd BC. The search connections area provides you the view to all users on ShareEd BC. 
Use the search and filters options to narrow down the list of users to connect with. If you click on a user's name, you can see their full profile details as well as any resources they have contributed. One of the other options within Connections is My Connections. This list includes people you have accepted connections from or users who have accepted your invitation. The other area is in the Connection Requests. The Received tab will show you the connection requests that have been sent to you that you have not accepted. The Sent tab will show you the connection requests that you have sent out that are still pending. If you choose not to accept an invitation, the requesting user will not receive any notification. A more global search within Shared BC can be performed either by clicking on the magnifying glass or by typing in the Search Shared BC field on the home page. If you typed in a keyword, let's use math, you will be presented with some keyword options. Let's choose mathematics. Your search results will give you all resources that have the word mathematics, along with any Shared BC user that used the word mathematics in their profile. You can use one or more of the filters on the left-hand side to narrow down your search. The number in the brackets indicates how many results relate to that filter. The Organizations option in the top navigation bar will let you see what organizations are part of Shared BC. If you click on the organization's name, you will see what resources they have published and their active users. There are two ways you can message with a user. You can use the message bubble beside a user's name, which will allow you to message directly with them, regardless of whether you had made a connection or not. The other option is to click on messages in the top navigation. Use the pencil icon to start. In the to field, enter the name or names of people you'd like to message with. Please note that only users you have made a connection with will be available here. To send the message, enter your message at the bottom of the screen and click the airplane icon. By default, anyone can send messages to you. You can change this default in the Preferences section in the main menu beside your name. There is a notifications feature in the menu beside your name. This area provides a list of updates related to you and your resources. If you have any new notifications, you will see a bubble to the right of your name or to the right of notifications. That will tell you how many new notifications have come in for you. Most of the notifications are informational, but some may require your action. If you'd only like to see the ones that require your action, click on Actionable in the Filters section. In the Help section, you will find How-To Information, as well as frequently asked questions regarding Shared BC features and functions, as well as an FAQ section specifically related to resources. The How-To section provides articles on key components of Shared BC, and some of these sections will have our how-to videos. The FAQ section provides users with answers to some of the most commonly asked questions. If you have a question that is not asked here, please reach out to us through the support button and we'll be happy to help you. The support button is located at the very bottom of every Shared BC page. By clicking on support, you will be taken to a simple request form. When you complete the subject and description and hit the submit button, the request form is sent to our help desk. Your display name, email address, and organization name are automatically forwarded with the request. We are here to help you navigate through Shared BC. So if you have any questions or issues, or you want to provide us some feedback, please use the support option to connect with us. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Shared BC.